today we are going to start a new chapter statistics that is your chapter 14 let's see what is the first topic in this chapter the first topic in this chapter is mean of grouped data students in most of our real life situations data is usually so large that to make a meaningful study, it needs to be condensed as grouped data. So, we need to convert given ungrouped data into grouped data and devise some method to find its mean. Students, in class 10, you have to find mean of grouped data. The question itself will contain a set of grouped data. But you have to find the class mark. The class mark is measured as upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2. This you should know. Class mark is equal to upper class limit plus lower class limit by 2. And to find mean of grouped data, you have three different ways. These are the three different ways that is direct mean method, assumed mean method, step deviation mean method. Even though you have three ways to find mean of grouped data, the result obtained by all the three methods is the same. Okay, now let's discuss about direct mean method to calculate the mean of grouped data the first step is to determine the midpoint of each interval students i'll show you all these examples through the exercise 14.1 okay these midpoints must then be multiplied by the frequencies of the corresponding classes now what about assumed mean and step deviation mean method? If the given data is large, then these two methods can be chosen. Okay, assume mean method and step deviation method. Direct mean method is used when the data given to you is small. So, you should know how to choose the method to find the grouped data. The choice of the method to be used depends on the numerical values of Xi and Fi. Xi is the class marks and Fi is the frequencies. Okay, if Xi and Fi are sufficiently small, then the direct mean method is used. If Xi and Fi are numerically large, then we go for the assumed mean method or step deviation method. So, how will you choose assumed mean method or step deviation method? The step deviation method will be convenient to apply if all the DIs, that is deviations, have a common factor. Now, let's go and see what are the examples given in your textbook. Exercise 14.1 First question A survey was conducted by a group of students as a part of their environment awareness program in which they collected the following data regarding the number of plants in 20 houses in a locality. Find the mean number of plants per house. Which method did you use for finding the mean and why. If you have to answer this question, that is which method did you use for finding the mean, you should go through the data first. Here let's go through the data. Number of plants 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12 and 12 to 14. Here frequencies are 1, 2, 1, 5, 6, 2, 3. These are extremely small numbers. Isn't it? So, the method that you are going to use is 
direct mean method so the method you use is direct mean method and why the data given to you is sufficiently small let's see the steps first this is the table that you are going to draw for direct method direct mean method this is the number of plants now class mark do you remember the formula for class mark upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 2 plus 0 2 2 by 2 1 4 plus 2 6 6 divided by 2 3 so on you will get the class marks and that is xi now what is fi that is the frequency of the houses which is given here now just see xi and fi they are extremely small isn't it so you will multiply fi and xi fi and xi 1 into 1 1 3 into 2 6 5 into 1 5 7 into 5 35 9 into 6 54 11 into 2 22 13 into 3 39 now how will you get the mean the mean you obtain by dividing the sum of these digits by sum of this frequencies this is the symbol for summation summation that is you are adding this 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 35 plus 54 plus 22 plus 39 answer is 162 here when you add summation fi is 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 that is 20 now how will you get the mean 162 divided by 20 the mean of the data is 8.1 this is the simplest method that you can use to find the mean of grouped data but the condition is that xi and fi should be extremely small hope you understood direct mean method next let's go to the second question Consider the following distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory. Find the mean daily wages of the workers of the factory by using an appropriate method. I told you students, if you want to choose an appropriate method, first step is to find the table. Here see, this is three digit number and this is two digit numbers. Isn't it? So, you will not go for direct mean method. In this case, we can use step deviation method as data is large. Let's see step deviation method. <clears throat> Here, for step deviation method, the first step is to assume, first step is to find the class marks. Class marks. What is class mark? Upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. 120 plus 100. 220 divided by 2. 110. Once again, upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. 140 plus 120. 260. 260 divided by 2, 130. So now you have class marks. Okay. Among this class marks, you are going to take the middle point as assumed mean. What is that? Assumed mean. Now that is the third, st second step. That is the second step. Now you need to find the deviation deviation okay children how will you find the deviation here that step is not written here deviation is x 
xi minus a xi minus a what is xi minus a 110 minus 150 110 minus 150 what is that minus 40 here 130 divided by 150 130 minus 150 it is minus 20 150 minus 150 0 170 minus 150 positive 20 190 minus 150 positive 40 so you have a step here di di is equal to minus 40 minus 20 0 plus 20 minus 40 okay children that is xi minus a is di xi minus a is di if you refer your textbook you can find that okay now what is ui ui is equal to di by h now what is h what is h h is the interval of this class that is 120 minus 100 that is 20 okay here the interval is 20 here 120 minus 100 is 20 140 minus 120 is 20 so all the class intervals are of equal intervals and the interval here is 20 now you will divide here how much you got as xi minus a minus 20 minus 20 sorry minus 40 minus 40 by 20 is minus 2 here it was minus 20 minus 20 by 20 minus 1 0 by 20 0 20 by 20 1 190 that is 40 40 by 20 2 now what are the multiplication process multiplication process is <clears throat> here 12 into minus 2 minus 24 14 into minus 1 minus 14 now how will you calculate the mean mean is a plus h into summation of fi ui by summation of fi now how will you get summation of fi ui you should add all these terms including their sign including their sign okay here minus 24 plus minus 14 plus 0 plus 6 plus 20 so you will get the answer as minus 12 and what is summation of fi the sum of frequencies here it is 50 so what will you get minus 12 divided by 50 now what is h you know what is h it is the interval of each class h is the interval of each class now what is a a is the assumed mean here you took a as 150 a as 150 so what is the formula for mean a plus h into summation of fi ui by summation of fi so students now we have gone through direct mean method and step deviation method in direct mean method you have to find the class marks and then multiply it with frequencies in step deviation method you have to find xi that is class marks di deviation and ui then calculate the mean you have three steps there but in assumed mean method two steps so one step in direct mean method two steps in assumed mean method and three steps in de step deviation method let's see the next question <clears throat> 